dry eye disease uh, classically used to be a disease of a female, uh, menopausal age, um, and this being the, the, the theory and the practice for a long, long time. However, things are changing now. We are at ages where everyone using uh, computers and, and uh, mobile devices, and so now it's, you find that the dry eye disease patients are now younger ages. You've got uh, young, active people, could be professionals, could be people who spend a long time in front of computers, and simply you don't blink well, then suddenly your dry eye disease start to manifest itself. So the group of patients with dry eyes has expanded now. So you see a younger patient and you see older patient than what we used to see in the past. Um, part of it to do with the technology and, and computers and mobile devices available and everyone using it, which can cause a, what we call digital eye strain that eventually can make uh, your eyes dry. So we see it's not not surprise now we see younger patients with dry eyes as well as patients live longer. So you see those older patients coming with, the, with severe dry eye disease. So it's it's it can affect any age nowadays. And not only that, we see increasing number of patients coming to us with a dry eye disease. The the problem is a lot of times the diagnosis is confused with other uh, diseases of the eye surface, and it's really important that. It's a, a thorough investigation done to find out whether it is dry eye or not.